ball, finds the hole up the middle. Steps up, goes deep, left side, receiver, open, counting, touchdown, Titans! Takes a nice shot outside the goal box, and he will break the 0-0 tie. Fantastic shot by Ken Lop Solon. Giller makes a move, a good one, opportunity here, the Bears score! The Bears strike first. He's at the 40, he's down to the 30, the 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Jalen. Why not? What a beautiful run. Maureen there, fights her off the puck. Opportunity here, another sit, and a goal! Second chance effort for the Pioneers. Put the icing on the cake, if you will, Michael. Didn't go down and got to the outside and said good evening and good night. Hey everybody, got volleyball coming up for you here on TV19. It's Sam Erickson with John Miller as we're here with the Tartan Titans playing host to the Hill Murray Pioneers. John, should be a great night for some volleyball. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, Sam. Ready to watch some high school volleyball. Hopefully it's a good game. That's right. We're going to get things started here in a moment, but first we're going to take a look at those standings. Yeah, you have uh, Hill Murray sitting in the Metro East at three and two over, or three and two in the conference, nine and eleven overall. Then you have Tartan at three and four in conference, and seven thirteen, seven and thirteen overall. Both these teams in the middle of the pack, ready to capitalize, build themselves some momentum when they get in the section finals. And as you said, should be a big game with playoff implications on the line. We'll take a look at the section for AAA standings where Tartan resides. Yeah, looking at the AAA standings, you had North sitting at number one overall as number one seed. Then as you look down, you got Tartan sitting there towards the bottom. But if they can win this game and get some momentum, who knows where they can go. And now the section four AA standings where you'll see Hill Murray. Yeah, Hill Murray, a very impressive team sitting there at the two seed right behind all the Angels. Very impressive team. Let's see if uh, Tartan can keep up with them tonight. Yeah, it should be a big game, and we're ready to get things underway as there's our first serve. That one was number six, Abby Peterson for Hill Murray. But Tartan's going to get the first point to start this one off. Yeah, we saw there with those section standings, you sit Irondale right behind Tartan, and I think both teams in action here tonight. So if Tartan can get the W, maybe get some help from Irondale losing, I can go a long way to secure their spot ahead of Irondale in the uh, section tournament. Yeah, Tartan keep the win, keep the seed they're at. They'll have to play a little less, a little worse opponent. But if they lose, they're going to play somebody better. So they need to win this game tonight. And that one sails out as Tartan opens things up to a 2-0 lead. Number two, Alex Lyle serving once again for the home Titans. And out once again by Hill Murray. Claire Westby hitting it just wide. And Tartan now with a 3-0 lead. Yeah, everything going the Tartan's way to start the game. Let's see if they can keep building off of it. And good dig to start, but not a great set from Hill Murray. And that ball eventually fly out of bounds on the possession. Tartan with four straight points to start this thing. Yeah, great block up front by the defense. Just get another one on the board. That's what they need to keep going, and they need to keep this up. And Alexandra Lyle continuing to serve, and that one will get inbounds as Claire Westby gets the kill, and Hill Murray's on the board, trailing 4-1. to one, Number 18, Brooke Zander going back to the service spot. Yeah, great hit there by Claire Westby. Tried to stop the bleeding a little bit, get Hill Murray on the board. Dug out, but a little too close to the net. And it looks like they're going to say number seven made contact with the net. And point will go to Hill Murray. Tough bump to handle, but well done by Tartan. Set up the play, and they'll get it over. As nice job by Jesse Bradshaw, number four, the junior, getting the job done, getting the set up off a tough bump. And uh, getting the point for Tartan. Yeah, just using that length that she has, one of the tallest players on the court right now. 
Hill Murray does a great job setting the play up and finished off with the kill by Grace Prokosh. Prokosh, the sophomore middle hitter, saying five foot nine inches tall, so they're gonna have her kind of right in the middle all night long. Yeah, Hill Murray with a very dispersed team, a lot of couple of seniors, couple of juniors, couple of freshmen, or a couple of sophomores as well. Chardon sets up a good play. Hill Murray tries to do the same, unable to do it. And looks like the point will go to Tartan after the big block at the net. It's going to be Jesse Bradshaw, number four, back to serve for the home Titans. Tartan sets up their outside hitter. She hits it over soft. Nothing there. Bump sails over the net, touched over. In the middle, but nothing going for Hill Murray. Tartan tries to do the same. Hill once again trying to do some Bradshaw bumps. And set it to the outside hitter, goes into the net as Carly Beaner unable to convert. Hill Murray will have it, now trailing six to four. Outside hit block, but well done by number eight, Samantha Stiff, to get it back for Tartan. And they'll end up scoring off of that to take the seven to four lead and get served back. Yeah, that ball went off the ceiling and just, <laughs> Hill Murray didn't really know what to do with it. That was a very lucky play there for Tartan, but they'll take it. Yeah, it's one of the tricks here with the high school volleyball inside these low ceiling gymnasiums. You have to just play the carom off the ceiling and uh, deal with it, as these girls, I'm sure, are used to. The blocked at the net, but bumped up and reset. Nice dig from the Pioneers. They'll get it over back onto the Tartan side. Coming up from the back, just out of bounds. Number 16, Carly Beaner thought she had something there, but it is out of bounds, and Hill Murray will have the point and the serve. Yeah, Hill Murray with a nice little rally. Now 7 to 5, Tartan. We'll see if they can uh, score a couple points right here. Yeah, Tartan starting with four straight points in this one. Hill Murray doing their best to climb back into it. Beaner with the hit from the back. Beaner digs, goes over the net, quick hit back over, but Tartan able to deal with it. And they'll just have to bump it over after a couple of touches. Set to the outside hitter. Dug out by Tartan. Back to Alex Lyle. That one's dug out. And good volley here, but well, looks like that one for Hill Murray went out of bounds, and Tartan will have the serve back. Yeah, all set up by that great first dig off the, off the set right there. Great job there by Tartan to keep that play alive, ending up with the score. And Maria Sorensen going to serve. The defensive specialist, Libero, out there in the different color jersey for the Titans. Alex Lyle on the outside, well blocked at the line. And it's Kasana Kloss who gets up there to get the Pioneers the point. And so Hill Murray can serve as they make a substitution. It looks like Xana Steve going to come in, and she will head to the service spot. Steve's serve is good. Dug a little too close to that. Well handled by number four, Jesse Bradshaw. And Tartan ends up getting a point out of what looked to be nothing. Yeah, it looks like the Hill Murray team's got some smaller defenders up front right now. Tartan just took advantage of it right there. Yeah, heads up play by number four, Jesse Bradshaw. She played it off the net, off the block to keep it alive. Tartan end up scoring. Hill Murray a little fortunate there after the uh, less than ideal set. Number 18, Brooke Zander able to tip it over, find some space, and point goes to the Pioneer. Bradshaw, great cross court hit. Dug out by the Pioneers, and they will get the point because of it. Number 10, Claire Westby touching it over. And score is now nine to eight. Hill Murray right on the heels of Tartan. Yeah, Westby with a nice little touch right there, getting the ball right over the net. A tough luck once again for the Pioneers. You see that one hit the roof, but a huge kill 
from the Tartan Titans. Yeah, when you're number 32 for Hill Murray and you hit that ball straight up, it hits the ceiling, all you can do is laugh. Yeah, not a bad dig, unfortunate with the low line uh, ceiling. That thing came straight down and landed inbounds for the Tartan point. Well, Hill Murray will get that point. And we have a 10 to nine game as Brooke Zander is gonna serve now the senior. And Xander drops it right in front of Maria Sorensen. Yeah, dropping that one in the middle of the defense. Nice serve right there. Xander again. Sorensen handles this one, although close to the net. Elena St. Cyr tried to deal with it, but it's going to fall in, and Hill Murray will have their first lead of the game. Yeah, nice, nice job by Hill Murray getting themselves back in this game after starting off really slow. Now they have the lead. See if they can build off of that. Do a nice job blocking at the net. Get it to the outside hitter. But Tartan handles it as St. Cyr with the set. Gets up off of her knees. Ball is blocked and it goes out of bounds. Tartan with the point. A nice hustle there by Esteve for Hill Murray. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to come up with it. Megan LeMay with the serve now for Tartan. LeMay, the junior. She'll dig it out right there. St. Cyr with the set out to Bradshaw. But a Steve there to dig for Hill Murray. And it looks like that one just sails wide. As Haley Kistner unable to get it in bounds. Yeah, Kistner with a great spike. Unfortunately, it was just a little too hard. Gartner serving for the Pioneers. And change up there, nice job. St. Cyr decides to just set it over the net and she'll get the point as it falls in front of the defense of the Pioneers. Yeah, great read there by St. Cyr knowing what she needed to do with the ball, dropping it in right in where the Hill Murray defense wasn't. Getting Tartan another point. All tied up here now 12 to 12. Yeah, I think it's a good indication of what we can expect here tonight. It's gonna be close all night long. You saw there, there's a point again for Hill Murray. I was gonna say, as you saw there in our little pregame, you saw Hill Murray with a nice, look like they're gonna wrap up the two seed in their section. You saw Tartan a little bit farther down in their section. Now Tartan a 3A school in volleyball, Hill Murray the 2A. Uh, so, although two teams in different spots in their section, should be pretty equally matched as we saw with our Metro East standings. Yeah, you're definitely right there, Sam. They both have pretty similar records. Both seem to be the same athletically, same team. They have a bunch of pretty pretty taller women up front. Looks like they, they're pretty evenly matched up right now, as you can see with the score, 13 to 12. Yeah, and especially on this point here, as we've had quite a volley. Tartan keeping it alive once again. That one's set to the outside, well dug. And Hill Murray keeps it alive. And they will get the point, avoiding the net number six. Abby Peterson gets just enough and drops it in to give Hill Murray the one, the, excuse me, the two point lead. Heck of a dig there by uh, Hendricks, keeping that ball alive, giving Hill Murray the chance to get a point right there. And we're going at a furious pace here to start it off. Both these teams getting the ball and running to serve it right away. And well, Tartan will get the serve back there after the huge kill. Trailing by one, number 16, Carly Beener back to serve for the Titans. Another kill as Haley Kistner gets into the action. She's a senior, the outside hitter does her job. And we're all tied up. Yeah, great dig by Sorensen, great kill by Kistner. You gotta be happy if you're the uh, Tartan coach right there. And yeah, they might not have some of the tallest girls for volleyball, but they definitely have an ability to leap up, get up above the net, and really make some plays happen. And I bet you both of these sides like the fact that they don't have, you know, they're not opposing a girl on the other side who goes about 6'3", something like that, that you'd see with some of the better teams, you know, out there in the Metro. Yeah, we saw that with Matamidi and Hastings. They all had a couple players, about two apiece, about 6'3". And those girls were unstoppable that whole game. 
That one falls in for another Hill Murray point, tied up again at 15 now. As this has been back and forth all the way here, set number one. Heinrichs to serve. Sorensen digs it out. Bradshaw sets. Hill Murray blocks at the net, and they'll set up their own play as Peterson tries to tip it over. Dug out by the Titans. And number two, Alexandra Lyle with the kill. And I'll tell you something about the outside hitter, number two, Alexandra Lyle. She's only 5'3". That's because she's only a freshman. So doing a great job here for the Tartan varsity squad. I tell you what, from up here, Sam, she does not look 5'3", and she had two amazing kills. Fortunately, one was uh, dug up by Hill Murray, and then finally she got one to drop in right there. Definitely good things looking ahead for Tartan. As number two, only a freshman, get another big play at the net. That's Megan LeMay blocking it down and giving the Tartan the two-point lead. Peterson with the outside hit dug out by Bradshaw for Tartan. Heinrichs comes forward, makes the play, but a missed time jump by Lyle, and that will fall down into Tartan's area. That'll be a Hill Murray point. Yeah, she just mis misjudged that one. There's really nothing she could do once she, her feet left the ground, and she did get her hands on it, but it was just a little too late. So Lyle may be showing a little bit of that inexperience, but still out there, the freshman. Tries to set there, unable as well. They got the inexperience right there again, Sam. She might be in a little shaking off that last play. This time she just smacks it right to the ground. I'm sure she's going to bounce back right, though. Yeah, kind of got caught in that in between, whether she should use the uh, setting motion, whether she should bump it. And getting caught a little bit in between is Hill Murray as some miscommunication leads to the Tartan point. Yeah, this game's just back and forth, back and forth. What are one of these two teams going to do to separate each other right now? But I think this is pretty much how it's going to be all night. As that is Elena St. Cyr, she's going to serve it up for Tartan. And bump no good from Abby, Abby Peterson. She knew it right away. And Tartan will regain the lead. She'll be opening up to a two-point lead with that one. We'll have our first timeout as Hill Murray's gonna wanna talk some things over. So with that first time out, we wanna remind you TV19 sports fans, of course, of Sports Path. We do that live every other Wednesday. John and I hosting the show. We'll have highlights of all the games we've done uh, in between the last episode. Of course, we'll have highlights of this one coming up next Wednesday, live at seven. We're also having Otta Clareman and uh, Busquets Judy from North St. Paul. High school soccer players, they're having a heck of a year. Just come off a win against Eastridge. So yeah. make sure to check it out. Yeah, that was a big game winning in sectionals in uh, on penalty kicks at Eastridge. So big things happen for North St. Paul. Looking to see if they can get that upset over Stillwater and make it into the state tournament. We'll have all that info for you, including that inter interview on our next episode of Sports Path. And that's just that show we do every other Wednesday, live at 7 p.m. to keep you all caught up on everything here in the East Metro when it comes to high school athletics. Well, ready to resume things after the timeout. 19-17, playing to 25 here, each set to 25. Got to win by two, and that'll help Tartan's cause as they're up three now at 20 to 17. I tell you what, Sam, number four there for Tartan, Bradshaw. She's had some impressive kills, and she's only five foot four. These, these smaller girls are just crushing the ball today. Yeah, you know, now looking at some of them, I got to wonder if these heights are from previous years. I tell you what, Bradshaw doesn't look like she's a 5'4". She doesn't, neither does uh, Lyle there, the freshman. I, let me guess they, they grew. Yeah, you know, it's a little tough for us to tell here at Tartan High School. Got to be uh, on the second level up at the perch, so we're not down at ground level, but I think they might uh, be listening them a little short. As you see Lyle there, great cross-court winner, gets the kill. And Tartan has their biggest lead of this first set at 22 to 17. I'll tell you what, Sam, that could really throw off an opposing team scouting report, thinking that these girls are smaller than they are, and then they play at a height much bigger. Oh, I sense a little conspiracy, John. I see what you're saying. Yeah, see? Keep, keep the uh, opponent on their toes. Any little advantage helps. It's definitely working for this Hill Murray team so far, going as a two seed in the sections. 
The set up Alex Lyle again. Well dug, I guess we can say, by Heinrichs. Miscommunication, I think that is a double hit. A little bit of hesitation with the referee, but Tartan knew it right away, and they'll have a 23-17 lead, two points from winning this set. Yeah, Gardner hit the ball, and then it was coming right back to where nobody came over there, and she just kind of laughed and hit it again. St. Cyr with the serve, dug out Heinrichs, set up to the outside hitter, but nothing doing as Lyle blocks for Tartan. Sorensen digs it out, but it's gonna be close to the out of bounds and close to the net as it falls in for the Hill Murray point. Yeah, nice dig there. Unfortunately, it didn't have any air time on it. That just been, hits the net. Sorry, John, just gonna say that would have been big for Tartan to get that one to get to 24, really put the pressure on Hill Murray with the set point. They'll get it there as Bradshaw with an impressive kill. Yeah, Tartan making a very impressive run here since they were mostly tied up at about 15-15. They've kind of been dominant ever since. We'll see Lyle, the freshman, try and serve for set point. That sails out of bounds. And that'll keep Hill Murray alive. And Hill Murray needs to win about six, seven straight points to win this set here, Sam. I've got to win by two. So they'll have to get to 26 and keep Tartan right where they are. But Tartan's gonna get that point. Number 19, Megan LeMay touches it over and that will conclude the first set as the home Tartan Titans win it 25 to 19. We will break as the teams break to get ready for set number two. That was set number one, Tartan winning it 25-19. This is Metro East Volleyball here on TV19 Sports. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, Chief. Picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. There's a look at the junior number four, Jesse Bradshaw for Tartan Titans. They were the winners of set number one, as you just saw on our screen, 25-19. As we're preparing for action here, set number two. We got Metro East Volleyball for you here on TV19. Good first set, well balanced. Uh, good matchup here so far, right, John? Yeah, these teams definitely seem even, but as you were talking about, Jesse Bradshaw definitely had some great spikes, some great kills. Her and Alexandra Lyle keeping it keeping it tough up front for the Tartan offense and defense. Those two are making a great tandem tonight. And not to mention number 17 just served. Elena St. Cyr had a nice opening set as well, uh, getting a lot of points from the service spot for the home Tartan Titans. And she's gonna do it again. As we'll see, this is about the third or fourth ball we saw get up into the rafters. And as we've mentioned before in the broadcast, that is in play here in high school volleyball. The girls just have to deal with it. And uh, here at Tartan, it looks like the ceiling's a little bit lower than your average gym. So it's really gonna come into play here tonight. It really does, Sam, especially when every point in high school volleyball does matter. We've seen it before. I'd hate to have this game, the outcome of the game be ruined because the ball hits the ceiling. Yeah, but I'm sure it definitely helps these girls out, you know, kind of keeps their concentration, uh, you know, able to kind of deal with anything. So it really keeps you on your toes. Yeah, kind of like the Minnesota Twins Metrodome roof. That's right. And you can kind of see to get an idea, every once in a while we'll have that bas basketball hoop uh, that's pulled up into the ceiling uh, in our shot. Don't see it here, we see a couple there kind of getting a picture for how low some of these things, these obstacles are uh, for these girls to deal with. Peterson bumps it over the net for Hill Murray. Tartan's gonna be able to set up a play but dug out by a Steve from Hill Murray, and the Pioneers eventually will get the point, and we're tied up at two. Yeah, great kill there by Claire Westby, getting it right, uh, right past Jesse Bradshaw there. The outstretched arms were just not enough that time. I mean, Brooke Zander back to serve for Hill Murray. Got a little discussion going on between Tartan head coach and the referee. 
I think uh, substitution discussion. It looks like Tara Mosier sitting there on the sidelines getting ready to come in. And service in, Brooke Zander. We'll see what Tartan can do with that. Lyle gets it over. Hill Murray's gonna try and set something up. Tapped over, but dealt with by the Titans. And Lyle from the back, and it looks like it is called out. That was close, but I think the line judge got it right. Yeah, Lyle just a little too strong for all good there, trying to just demolish that ball, which she did, just a little too hard. And a little too hot to handle. Carly Beaner unable to deal with that one. And the ace goes to Hill Murray. They'll lead it four to two to start off set number two. Yeah, Xander just hitting that one right at Beaner's chest. And that one they decided to let go. Looks like the previous point in the last minute, they kind of let Beaner know that that was going to stay in. I think that led to the uh, miss hit on the dig. That one sails out of bounds, and Tartan has the point. It is three to four with number three, Tara Mosier, going back to the service spot. There's Westby again, Sam, a great kill, getting it right past uh, the outstretched arms of Bradshaw. She's looking good to start the second set. Yeah, definitely leading the way for the Pioneers. Number 10, Claire Westby, outside hitter, junior. And we'll see what they can do here as Alina Gartner serves for Hill. A nice kill from the Tartan Titans. That one right on the borderline. Maybe went, would have gone out, but you can't really take that chance. Hill Murray unable to deal with it regardless. And Tartan now trailing 5-4. Westby though gets set up on the outside. And Hill Murray will take a two point lead and get the serve back. It really feels like Hill Murray needs to keep feeding the ball to Westby, but now as you can see she's serving right now. Let's see if she can uh, get a couple of uh, aces right here. He goes with the jump serve. Tartan wisely lets it go. And the unforced, unforced error will get the ball back to the Titans. Nonetheless, though, Westby has been very impressive here in the second set. And she had some great kills in the first set as well. Dug out by Bradshaw. Sorensen passes it back to Lyle. Lyle gets it to trickle over the net. And that hit from Abby Peterson is going to sail long off the back line. And we're going to be all tied up at six after that one. Yeah, Hill Murray started out with a little bit of a lead here to start the second set. Nice job by Tartan getting back in it real quick. Number 16, Carly Beaner, Beaner the senior, serving it for Tartan. Lyle's going to have to bump it over. Hill Murray will set things up. Outside hit and good as Kasana Kloss gets the job done for the Pioneers. Yeah, we haven't really talked about Kasana Claus since the beginning of the first set, but she had a very good opening start to the game as well, so we'll see if she can get a hot here as we keep going. And not a great set from Tartan, and a little bit whiffed on by number 13, Haley Kistner, but that kind of worked in her favor as the ball falls into no man's land, and we'll be tied up at seven. Yeah, that's a little bit of a weird play. We saw uh, Kistner kind of react to that one, like that is not what you meant to do, but got a little bit lucky. She had a big smile on her face when that fell in. Sometimes you just got to go with that luck, you know what I mean? It's sports, you'll take it any way you can get it. Exactly. There's Westby again. I feel like nine times out of ten, you're not going to get that luck, so take it when you get it. Exactly. I think we all wish we could get that on our golf game. You're telling me playing golf this weekend. It went okay. <laughs> That's all I'll say. I feel ya. Steve back to serve for Hill Murray. Gets it in, nice touch over by Tartan. Good idea to switch things up. That one's dug out, but it's gonna go out of bounds. And Hill Murray will have a nine to seven lead. Yeah, great recovery there by Steve. You know, she didn't read the ball right coming out of the Tartan player's hands. She ended up reacting, keeping the ball alive and Hill Murray scores a point. And Steve will serve. Tartan will set things up. And Alex Lyle, who's had a quiet second set, slams that one down, but it's dug out by the Pioneers. 
Well, Lyle will get a second chance, and she'll make the best of that one. And she'll get another kill, making it eight to nine. Yeah, Lyle for a freshman, she's been looking awfully impressive here tonight, Sam. And she definitely, you gotta imagine as she keeps getting older, that spike's only gonna get better, and she's already has the best spike in the game so far, so we'll see. Yeah, and this uh, Tartan roster, heavy with juniors and seniors, so even more impressive that Alexandra Lyle not only getting in and onto the squad, but getting legitimate playing time. As you see the ball really rattle up in there, Hillmary able to deal with it. As we've been mentioning, the low-lying uh, obstacles and ceiling, but great job keeping concentration, and Hillmary will get the point after that. Great recovery off the basketball hoop, rolled around a little bit, reading the ball. As you said, Sam, that probably helps their hand-eye coordination here a little bit, focus a little more. Great play by Hill Murray to keep that ball alive and end up with the point. Yeah, John, I thought that one might get like permanently stuck up there for a second. It was kind of in behind the backboard, up on the, the pole that brings it up into the ceiling. Trickles out, Hill Murray keeps the concentration, and they got the point. Tartan answers back with a nice point, and we are 10 to nine, Hill Murray in the lead. There's Lyle again, just smacking it down. Her strength is a really good part of her game. Yeah, we'll see what she can do from the service spot. As I'm sure Tartan likes to see her there. Not a great set. And looks like a little bit of a missed time jump as Brooks Ander unable to convert for Hill Murray. Yeah, great job there by LeMay. Just putting those hands up, being right where she should be. Lyle getting another chance to serve for Tartan. Westby with the kill. Dog out. What a reaction from number one, Libero. Sorensen, and Tartan will get that point. And boy, I tell you what, this Tartan team really must be used to dealing with this, these obstacles. Yeah, to hit the ceiling, she dived with one hand and saved that ball and gave Tartan the point. Looking like Javier Baez for you Cubs fans, you baseball fans, making a diving stop at second base, digs it out, got Tartan the point, but Hill Murray responds. And it is once again all tied up here, set number two. And St. Cyr tried the quick set, but to no avail. Yeah, she just hit that one a little too towards the net, not setting up. Not a great set overall. She knew it when it came off of her hands. She was trying to kind of set it quick and low by design, but that was just a little too quick, a little too low, a little too towards the net, as you said, John. And you can see Hill Murray getting the point because of it. Blocked at the net, but unable to be chased down. Claire Westby gives a good diving effort. Yeah, Bradshaw just throwing those hands up there, getting a little smack down over the net. Very impressive young volleyball player right here. And we set it set number one. Got the same feeling here, set number two. This is going to be a back and forth close battle. Tartan was able to pull away towards the end of that first set. And Hill Murray will take the lead at 13 to 12 off of that point. Yeah, Hill Murray really faltered towards the end of the first set, as you said, Sam. Tartan kind of went their own way, but great job for them to respond. And now they have the lead here in set number two. Gartner with the serve, dug out. Dug by Hill. And that will be killed by Grace Prokosh. Sophomore middle hitter does her job. Yeah, great read there by Prokosh. She just saw the whole defense crashing on one side. She hit to the other. Score one for Hill Murray. Gartner again. Lyle digs this time. They set it up. And what a hit by Carly Beener. And she will get Tartan the ball back. Tell you what, Tartan has some really strong young women here tonight. They they can spike the ball. Got some girls who really can jump too. We saw Beaner get up on that one. Really elevated, coming from the back. She does it again. Elevates. That one touches a little bit of the net and is dug out by Hill Murray. Beaner once again. That one will fall inside the line. That was absolutely impressive, Sam. She spiked that one in the corner where nobody could get that ball. As a coach, you could not be any happier with that spike. Yeah, and that got line. Perfect placement, and we're all tied up again at 14. 
Quick set, went to Prokosh, tried to tip it over, but dealt with by the Titans. Silva just hit it. And that will fall into empty space. And Hill now once again with the lead. Boy, I wish I would have been keeping track of these lead changes. We're going to have quite a few. Just back and forth, back and forth. But once again, Prokosh just puts it where the defense in it isn't. She can really read it. Bradshaw with the set going outside to number eight, Samantha Stiff. Bradshaw again with it, bumps it off of the net to Beaner. Beaner hits outside, but dug by Claire Westby in green. And Bradshaw unable to dig that one. And that'll give Hill Murray a two point lead at 16 14. So one set to zero. Tartan took the first set 25 19. Hill Murray now with a two point lead here in set two. Yeah, Hill Murray's been keeping the lead with Westby in the back. She has been able to get up there, up towards the net, and spike the ball. And we saw her have a great job doing that to start the second set and starting it off with three of their first four points. But they're still in the lead, and she does a great job serving right there as well. Yeah, Hill Murray gets the point there. A little miscommunication from Tartan. And it looks like the Titans are going to take a timeout, their first of set number two. And with that timeout, we will also take a timeout to tell you about Your Business Matters here on TV19. Every month, Tom Snell and the White Bear Lake Chamber of Commerce bring in a guest who is either a business owner in White Bear Lake or has some connection to White Bear. This 20-minute show provides good insight into what issues are affecting many local business owners. Your Business Matters airs every Tuesday at 6 and Friday at 9.30 p.m. That's Your Business Matters only here on Channel 19. So from your business matters to some volleyball that matters, and of course a cause that matters, I should say even better. You see a lot of the fans wearing pink. That of course is in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And you see a lot of that going on throughout all levels of competition, all levels of sport. Just a great cause and a great thing for these young athletes to get involved in. Yeah, it's great to see a high school team rally around the cause. I think we saw a number four in the starting quarterback there for Tartan. Waving his jersey up there. Sorry, I can't come up with his name right now, but we just broadcasted one of their games the other day. Yeah, you get a couple of the Tartan Titan football players in attendance. A lot of students, good showing across the board. Got traveling Hill Murray fans here as well. And that is a point. And there's a look, number four, I believe Marco Hernandez is the name you're looking for. Quarterback here for Tartan Titan, been there for a few years. He's even got the pink tie, pink hat on. So good job, Mr. Hernandez. And in fact, for you Tartan Titan fans, we are going to be there live tomorrow, Friday, for some football as they take on Hastings. And excuse me, that is not on Friday, as I'm being reminded, that is Wednesday. So a little midweek varsity football action coming up for you here on TV19, Tartan versus Hastings. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be a really even game there, Sam. Tartan, we broadcast a game where they got blown out by Park, and Hastings got blown out by Mata Meat Ives, so... They lost to some very good teams. It should be pretty close. Yeah, that, that Park, uh, Park Matamidi, two very good teams. I believe they just played uh, last Friday in what was a, a pretty close game. Yeah, 50-40 to 40 win there by Matamidi. Of course, Jalen Fry, TJ Tumbleson, our former athlete of the week. So is Jalen Fry. Very impressive teams. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, contact made with the net. And Tartan will get the point. So they're trying to get back into this one. Trailing by two, 19-17. We're getting to a little bit later into set number two. Tartan winning the first one. And of course, uh, in terms of sets here in volleyball, it's best of five, so first to three. That one long by Sorensen. And that's gonna hurt things for the Titans as they try to get back into it. Yeah, that is not what Tartan needed here towards the end of the second set. They needed to go on a little run. Let's see if Hill Murray can put this one away. A Steve serving, dug out by Lyle for Tartan. Cross court hit, sails out of bounds. And Hill Murray's going to inch even closer to that set number two victory. Yeah, good idea there by LeMay. Like she hit it where the defense wasn't. Unfortunately, it was just a little too strong. Put a little more touch on that right there. Hill Murray would have been Tartan's point. Yeah, I like that every once in a while, you know, you sacrifice a little bit of power for some accuracy. A lot of teams just kind of preparing for that big kill, big spike. If you can just drop it in, you know, you get them to back up a little bit and just drop it in front of that defense, you can have a lot of success. 
Now you got to pick and choose those spots because if uh, that doesn't work out, they've got an easy, easy play to handle and a play to set up. There's Westby getting back in the action again. She's really been the backbone of this Hill Murray team. Yeah, Westby making it look easy, getting Hill the point as it's 22 to 17, Hill's biggest lead of the second set and Tartan is going to take another timeout to try and talk things over before this one's all done. Yeah, Tartan needs to make a little bit of a run. They need to get a stop. Well, with that timeout, we are going to take time to remind our TV19 viewers of another one of our great programs. That is Inside Healthcare. Jody Rataka brings you this monthly show providing tips and up-to-date info on healthcare issues that often relate to women's health. The show airs every Wednesday and Thursday at 6.30 p.m. And that is Inside Healthcare only here on Channel 19. And boy, that has got to be a big show for the month of October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, kind of focusing on women's health. So uh, a great time to tune in to Inside Healthcare here on TV19. It's always a great time to turn in TV19, Sam. You got that right. You know, maybe catch an episode of Sports Path, maybe catch a you know, Fab Five game here or there, regardless of sport. You know, of course, we're always running replays of the games we've done on TV19, as well as those old episodes of Sports Path, John. Yeah, let's hope those teams in the Fab Five can continue the, the, the better ones, continue their run in the playoffs. It's always fun to watch. Yeah, it's the regular season volleyball winding down here. Teams looking towards sections. We looked at those sectional brackets earlier, excuse me, sectional rankings earlier in the broadcast, and we might revisit those in a little bit. And that one falls to the floor for another Hill Murray point. Yeah, almost a great dig bit there by Sorensen. Yeah, and I thought, I'm, I think the referees didn't indicate that that wasn't a dig. I think it was, in fact, dug out on, well, at least it's what the referees called. I'm not so sure if they were right. But it looks like Tartan gave up on the play, and I don't think the whistle had gone. I saw a coach uh, for Tartan kind of letting him know that play to the whistle, you know. And another tough one to handle for the Titans, and Hill Murray. Got set point here in set number two. Westby just another hammer in there. Great second set. Let's see if they can win this one. And Steve been serving since Hill Murray was up 19-17, looking for six straight points and to close out the set. They set things up. Peterson with the left-handed hit, trying to go cross court. Tartan able to recover, and they'll get a point and stay alive here in set number two. Yeah, LeMay just hammering that one home, keeping uh, Tartan alive right now. Need to go on a little bit of a run. They can't lose one point or else Hill Murray's going to take this one. Sets will be all tied at one to one. You see substitution coming in as Elena St. Cyr is in as the serving specialist. And got our graphics a little bit wrong there on the bottom third. If you were just looking, it is set number two. And it is now 24-19. Hill Murray leading still with that set point. Set number two, Tartan took set number one. So they lead one set to zero. There's St. Cyr again, kind of brought in, just substituted in to take these serves and try and keep Tartan alive. What a cross court hit. Point will go to Hill Murray and they will take that second set, 25 to 19. Yeah, great hit there by Xander, giving Hill Murray the win, putting it where the defense wasn't again. We saw that a lot in the second set from Hill Murray. Good win there. Yeah, you saw Xander's reaction after that one. Not sure if she really wanted to put it there. So you saw Tartan won the first one, 25-19. Hill Murray comes back, wins the second set, 25-19. We're all tied, one set apiece. We'll have the serve to start set three coming up after this. Alvin and the Chipmunks want to remind you bacteria can hide in food and make you ill. Wow. But you can keep bacteria from ruining your day with four simple steps. Clean, separate, cook, and chill. The road tip to food safety starts at foodsafety.gov. Welcome back. Metro East Volleyball here on TV19. There's a look at number 10, Claire Westby. She's kind of the star for Hill Murray in that second set. That was the first set they won here to tie things up at one apiece. Yeah, Claire Westby absolutely dominated that second set there for Homer, Hill Murray, giving their team, like you just said, that crucial win there. Now it's all tied one to one. 
if Tartan wants to win this one, they have to uh, stop Claire Westby. And, you know, build off, of, build a little momentum here in the third set after that tough loss there in the second one. Yeah, this is going to be a crucial set here in the best of five series. A little miscommunication, but nice job by Tartan to keep it alive. Now almost dropped right in front of the Hill Murray defense. And eventually, Pioneers will have too much for Tartan to handle, and they'll take a one to nothing lead here in crucial set number three. Yeah, Claire Westby just absolutely starting off. Great here, getting a kill right now. That was uh, very impressive. Abby Peterson almost drops it in front. But it is still alive. And eventually it'll get to number 10, Claire Westby, and she's gonna finish the job. And it looks like she's really building on some momentum. Yeah, starting the third set, just how she started the second set. The second set, she had three of her fir team's first uh, four points. Now she's got their first two. And St. Cyr there able to set it up, but well dug out by the Pioneers. Another nice dig as Alex Lyle gets, she'll get it right back. That one blocked at the net. I think we have. It looks like the ball went outside. I thought it maybe called contact with the net, but I think they called it out off the block. And the point will go to Tartan. Now, interesting thing to note here, games are set, or excuse me, sets are tied at one apiece. Both teams have won on the same side of the court. Tartan now on that side, left side, as you're looking on your screen. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's a little superstitious, but you tend to see that in sports, Sam. Now, is that the only reason why both those teams have won on that side? I'm not going to go as far as to say that, but I'm just saying, interesting thing to know, right, John? Yes, yeah, and these teams are so even, though, you can pretty much toss it. It's a coin flip. It could be one bad bounce off a rafter up here, and one of these teams is going to win. Yeah, we've definitely seen that. And uh, for either, either of these teams to win, they're going to want to limit the unforced errors. Uh, just like you saw there, Brooks Zander hits that one into the net. And Tartan's going to take over the serve, trailing one. And a nice short arcing serve. Hill Murray reacts. Uh, tipping it just out of bounds. Number 13, Grace Prokosh. And we'll be tied up at three. Yeah, Prokosh with a good idea right there. She had it in the right spot. Unfortunately, it was just a little too hard. Megan LeMay Jr. serving and another unforced error as that one goes into the net. And Hill Murray will take over. Yeah, I feel like you're right, Sam. I definitely, the unforced errors here by both teams is gonna decide who wins this game. Yeah, I really think it's gonna come down to that mental mistakes. As you see there, Alex Lyle unable to dig that one out. Hits it just too far for Elena St. Cyr to deal with. And Hill Murray will increase their lead five to three. That one touches the net, but gets over. Heinrichs bumps it over after a nice play. Good reaction off the net. Claire Westby keeping things together for Hill Murray. And I think they're going to say a tip before that one went out of bounds, and Tartan will get the point. That was pretty close, Sam. Very close. But you know what? Tartan's going to take it. Bradshaw got the point. She'll serve. And that's another one that goes into the net. So the last two times Tartan has served both into the net. And that's something they're really wanna, gonna wanna put a stop to. But something you didn't see in the first two sets is these teams were very fundamentally sound. They both played great volleyball and uh, we'll see. But starting here in the third set, something I think it was a little bit too long of a timeout, Sam, and now they're coming out a little rusty. Yeah, not sure if they were trying to switch up their strategy there, just kind of do a little bit lower serves you know, not allow the teams to set up their plays, get it to those outside hitters. But both teams now with two unforced errors serving it into the net. That one, another unforced error, not off the serve as Alexandra Lyle hits it just a little too far and wide. And Hill Murray now with a seven to five lead. Such a strong spike, it almost took out the referee. And that's really the importance of kind of jumping up and getting the angle here in volleyball to drive the ball down and keep it in the boundaries. It's one of the toughest things in volleyball is that you, know, you can hit it as hard as you want, but can you control it enough to keep it in bounds? Very true, Sam. I feel like if you're Hill Murray, 
you know, you have uh, Westby who's pretty much doing all the work. It's good to see Kloss get a couple spikes in because they're going to need her here to win this game. Another unforced error on a serve for the Pioneers, giving Tartan a chance. Yeah, both teams very sloppy here to start the third set. There's a serve in by Sorensen. And an impressive block from the front line of Hill Murray. Looks like Brooks Zander was in there. Also, Kasana Kloss. Yeah, both those girls very tall, using their height, getting up there. Getting Hill Murray a point. Kloss is going to come out, make way for Zana Asteve. Asteve went on a nice run to end set number two to give Hill Murray that win. Well, she'll start off on the right foot again here in set number three. It's now a four-point lead for the Pioneers. As you said, Sam, she's been very good serving the ball here the last set, now this set as well. Hill Murray doing all the little things right besides a couple miscues. Steve keeps it in bounds. Tartan gets it over. Hill Murray now setting things up. Westby with the hit. Dug out. And Tartan able, unable to do anything. A little miscommunication, a little hesitation. And the point will fall in for Hill. Yeah, once again, Westby will probably get credited with that kill. Serve into the net again. Sam, we did not see much of that the first two sets. I don't know what's going on with these two teams, but it seems about these teams have had about four apiece. Yeah, it's like five or six errors off the serve, and I think we had one maybe in the first two sets. So, you know, time out. Yeah, they do switch the sides up here, but both teams have had a chance to be on both sides. But, you know, that is kind of one of the tricky things with volleyball is you're constantly switching sides in between the games, you know, just kind of getting used to that new territory every set. Certainly works in Tartan's favor there as they get a point. And now trail 11-8, St. Cyr with the serve. Yeah, great job there by Brooks Zander. As you said, Hill Murray's kind of focusing on that low setup there for the spikes, you know, quick set. Get the ball down, don't let the defense adjust. Works to the Pioneers' favor. And what a dig by number six, Abby Peterson, to keep it alive for Hill Murray. Unfortunately, her work does not pay off on that point as Tartan gets it. Alexandra Lyle with the kill. She'll head back to serve. Claire Westby again for Hill Murray. This chick is absolutely dominant spiking the ball, Sam. She's all of Hill Murray's offense, and you know what? They're going to take it, and they're up by four points right now. I think they're going to keep setting her up because it's working. Dug out by Lyle. St. Cyr sets to LeMay. LeMay has to touch it over as it was a little too close to the net. Westby with an out block. It looks like it'll go out of bounds. And Hill Murray with the point. Westby just taking over this game here for Hill Murray. Why would you stop getting her the ball? You can't if you're Hill Murray, and if they do, they're gonna lose. Really unassuming player, Claire Westby. Not the biggest, doesn't appear to be the strongest, but kind of just quietly goes about her business. And it's what she's really got is the accuracy to hit it in. Yeah, sometimes it's not about the size, Sam. As you said, she's not really amped up down there. She just goes about her business quietly. And right now, she looks like the best player on the court. I gotta tell you, that is usually one of the one of the more favorite things from a coach is that if you just kind of do what you're told, or you know, not what you're told, but do what you're supposed to do, get the job done as Westby does once again. You gotta keep feeding her the ball. You're gonna keep winning here. Hill Murray with the now five point lead. And if you're Tartan here, you really gotta start setting up uh, Lyle as well as Bradshaw here, and if they're just not doing it, they've kind of got away from it. And Westby is just taking full advantage and getting the ball in there. Great kills. It's on that point, Gardner getting a little bit lucky as I think, well, you didn't see it there, but I thought on some of these serves, they might be, you know, we saw him hit it into the net a few times. I think they are trying to go a little bit shorter as uh, the Tartan players waiting for the serve are back pretty far. So I think they're trying to get it just over the net and uh, drop it in 
took some unoccupied territory to get an ace. Yeah, Sam, great block there by Kasana Kloss, as well as uh, Alyssa Gardner, or Lena Gardner. Yeah, and after that point, Hill Murray's gonna open up to a 17-10 lead. Looks like Tartan's gonna take a timeout, and with that, we'll take a look at the section standings. Yeah, as you can see, Tartan down there in a really tough uh, 4A division there, or 3A, section 4, 3A division. But you know what, they've looked pretty good tonight. They've kind of got away from what was working in the first two sets, and that's why they're losing right now. And then we'll take a look at the two-way standings. Hill Murray looking like they belong there in the number two seat at the top. Very impressed by the way they're playing today, and I'm sure Westby's been having a heck of a year. Uh, well, let's hope that they can uh, go on a little bit of a run here as well in this section. Yeah, it's too bad for Tartan. If they can kind of go on a run towards the end of the season, you saw them with the ranking at like 69. There's a couple teams muddled up there ahead of them, like 43, 44, 45. If they can win a couple games, get some help. We might be able to get in the mix with those three teams. Uh, they won the first set here tonight, lost number two, and are down seven here, set number three. That is the biggest uh, lead in a set for Hill Murray here tonight. I think of both teams, actually. Yeah, so see if Tartan can recover off of the timeout. They can right away as they get the point. And Jesse Bradshaw touching it over, making it 17-11. And number four, Bradshaw, will head back to serve for the Titans. If, if Tartan wants to get back in this game, Bradshaw and Lyle, like as I said earlier, they need to start taking over a little bit. Nice dig from Bradshaw. Sorensen sets, and Tartan will get the point. We're trying to make a game of it here, set number three. Bradshaw again. Dug out by Westby, hits the divider, and falls in. And that's something with that right side on your screen. You see that right side? There is like a gymnasium divider that even sticks down even farther than some of these other obstacles. That hit that, the bottom side of that divider, and went shooting right down and in for the Tartan point. Yeah, very unfortunate there for Hill Murray, especially now that Tartan's making a run, getting back in the game. See if Tartan can get some luck. <laughs> Amazing job to keep it alive, but they had to bump it over and it sails just out of bounds. Yeah, you saw this Tartan player saving it right over the ref's head. The ref was like, whoa. Fortunately, he wasn't able to fall in there. And you can definitely see these Tartan players are a little more accustomed to dealing with this low ceiling here. Uh, and kind of the the ricochets it takes and sort of you know having to keep your eye on the ball and react quick. Yeah, great job by there by Hill Murray to get a point. Stop this little tartan run going on. Time to finish this one up. So 19-13. Westby with the serve. And I think the call is that. Well, it looks like Bradshaw just kind of hit that one back on her own side. Nobody was there. Tartan bench questioning that call. So that's a big play. At that point, it makes it 19 13. It looks like uh, Alexandra Lyle of Tartan is going to have a discussion with the umpire as well. You can see Westby there on the on your screen a couple seconds ago. She was like, I'm just ready to play. Let's win this one. As you said, going about her business. So I think Tartan can lobby a case. It may be right, but regardless, don't think the referees are going to change their call. You kind of saw it. Tartan was not ready for the start of that play, and they need to get their heads back in that game, and that is not going to help now. That puts them down eight. Don't worry about the calls. Worry about playing the game. That's right. Hill Murray takes advantage now with an eight point lead. Here's set number two. Westby trying to get a kill from the back line, unable to do so as it goes in the net. And Tart will have the serve, number 16, Carly Beener. You see, Beener likes to serve kind of from the far left side. You don't often see that. A lot of players on the far right side of the uh, back line. Yeah, there's Lyle again. She's a very impressive freshman there, Sam, with a nice kill. They need to go on a little bit of a run right here. Let's see if they can do it. Beaner with the serve again. Not well set up by Hill Murray, but they get it over. Lyle 
Just going to have to hit it over. Set to the outside. Abby Peterson touches it, but it's out of bounds. Point to Tartan. And they're climbing back into this thing, 21-16. And they're picking a good, good time to do it. Yeah, if they don't keep scoring right here, Sam, Hill Murray's going to win this one. Peterson now once again from the outside, hits it with the left hand. That falls in off the block. And Hill Murray with the 22-16 lead. Just what they needed right there, Sam. Stop this run by the Tartan offense. Finish this one out. Kistner tries to set it over. Dealt with by the Pioneers. They'll set things up, soft touch. Dug out by Sorensen. Lyle with the hit, dug out by Westby. And that is gonna be a kill, well finished off by Brooke Zander, senior middle hitter. Tell you what, Sam, ever since the, the first set, the front line there for Tartan has not looked as strong as they did, as I said, in that first set. And that's really what's hurt them. And also they went away, like we haven't seen very many sets. They're not setting Lyle up, they're not setting Bradshaw up, and now they're losing. Yeah, just generally not being able to set up those plays. Uh, and that's why they have a deficit here, 23 to 16. They'll take a timeout. With that timeout, of course, we remind you, TV19 sports fans, of our social media. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. And John, what can they find on Facebook if they uh, like us? Oh, Facebook, you can hi find uh, links to YouTube watch our games as well as you can see uh, what time sports path will be airing what time games will be airing in general check all that more as well on twitter at tv19 sports we'll definitely be having some updates for you as we get into the postseason with what your fab five teams are doing in sectional tournaments so uh, stay involved on social media i know some of you have your phones out close to you right now might as well search on tv19 sports give us a like and keep in touch with everything that's happening here in the East Metro. Yeah, we also do a little Facebook Live now for the start of Sports Path. Sometimes you get a nice look at behind the scenes. That's good for anybody interested in volunteering, anybody, uh, any younger fans kind of interested in any TV production type of career. Get a lot of good info on all that stuff, good experience. So if you have any interest, check us out. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Well, Tartan got that point out of the timeout, makes it 23-17, and Sorensen back to serve. Maria Sorensen, the defensive specialist, we call him libero. And that was a short, quick set to Brooke Zander of Hill Murray, and she's going to hit it long to make it 23-18. Yeah, Tartan only down by five. Let's see if they can make a run. They got their libero here serving the ball. Let's put some points up. Maria Sorensen with the left hand. Serves Abby Peterson, digs it out. And that's an easy one to set up for Hill Murray as Xander finishes it off. Yeah, pretty just hit that in the middle of the Tartan defense, hit it right when they're not, and you're going to score. And they, Hill, Tartan started to have a little bit of momentum there. Good to see uh, Hill Murray answer back. And as Steve subs in, she kind of finished things off, or at least got it started in the second set for Hill Murray, the one that they we're victorious in. She's going to start serve here. And Hill Murray's going to get a point, make it 25 to 18. They get the win as a Steve does her job. Lost track of the score there a little bit as I thought it was only 24, but that will do it for set number three as Hill Murray's going to take it 25 to 18. Take a look at the scores there. First set went to Tartan, the last two to Hill Murray. It's best of five, first to three here. We'll have set number four for you when we return. It's Metro East Volleyball on TV19. We've all seen stories of conflict that ended with peace. We've seen stories of hunger end in abundance. We see stories of fear, despair, and poverty but they can end with courage, hope, and love with you. Be a part of writing a story that's greater than poverty. Learn how at worldvision.org.
Welcome back, Metro East Volleyball here on TV19. You take a look at the scoreboard, best three of five. Hill Murray has got two sets to Tartan's one. We're getting ready for pivotal set number four. Tartan trying to win this one, keep this thing going. If Hill Murray wins set number four here, they'll take this game. And after Tartan winning that first one, it's kind of been all Hill Murray since then. Yeah, Cla Claire Westby just absolutely number 10 there for Hill Murray, just absolutely taking over this game. They've had some great front line defense. Those girls up front are doing everything that you could ask for as a coach, and that's why they're up two to one, and they've absolutely controlled this game since the first set. St. Cyr sets outside. Lyles hit, dug out by Hill Murray. And St. Cyr does a quick set, nice job. She looks a little surprised that it actually worked, but that was very smooth there by St. Cyr, just getting it in. You'll see that every once in a while. You know, the setter is obviously there to set up the hitter more often than not. But you see St. Cyr kind of look out of the corner of her eye, see some of the Hillbury players backing off, does a little bit of a back set into empty space, and gets a point for Tartan. I think just the thing they need to get going and build a lead here in set number four will be crucial for them. Uh, they want to stay in this thing. Yeah, great spike there by Megan LeMay. You know, it's good to see the girls out there for Tartan. They're looking a little amped up to start this four set, and they need it. They got a good crowd on hand here for Tartan. That one's going to sail way long. Dabby Peterson un unable to get on top of it. And that'll be a quick 3-0 to zero lead for Tartan to start off this four set. Peterson with the dig, goes back to Heinrichs who tries to get a hit from the back line. And it was dug out by Sorensen. As I mentioned before, hit that divider up on the ceiling, goes straight down, and Hill Murray, with a little bit of luck, gets their first point, set four. Yeah, that divider really had an effect on both of these teams. You have some of these low-line basketball hoops, but those are actually out of the boundaries, so not uh, too much in play, but that divider right in the middle of things here for a team that's on the right side of your screen. There we go, Claire Westby once again getting the first point on the board for Hill Murray here in the fourth set. And they, that play was all for her. And they're gonna have to keep feeding her the ball if they wanna put this one away and take this one home three to one. I think the real problem for Tartan is they don't have anybody that is great at blocking up front. You see Westby kind of just doing whatever she wants to uh, with some of those hits, both in the middle on the outside. There's no, nobody able to get up and block for Tartan. They, they kind of rely on being able to dig out any of those hits. That one was dug out, but a little miscommunication afterwards. And Tartan now behind 4-3 to three after getting up 3-0. Yeah, great job by Hill Murray answering back after being down quickly 3 to nothing. This is not good if you're Tartan. You cannot fall back into the same things that was hurting you the last two sets that were lost. That was a great dig, setting up St. Cyr with an even nicer set. And finishing it all off is Megan LeBay. And she'll tie things up at four. Yeah, it's two for her early. Lyle with the serve. Peterson digs. Set outside to Westby. And what a move by Westby. Great athleticism and control just to tap it over. Yeah, she's been hitting it so hard this game that if you were on Tartan, you have to expect she's about to hit that ball directly at your face. She just flips it over there. Xander now serving for Hill Murray. St. Cyr back sets. And Hill Murray somehow keeps it alive. Couple of touches off the net. Thought they might have got called for too many touches on one side, but it was coming off block, so they're allowed that extra uh, hit. And great presence of mind by a couple players in green, keeping it alive, and they'll eventually get that point. Of course, Claire Westby's on that play for Hill Murray. John, you know, I've been covering this team for a couple years. Well, Hill Murray, that's school, and Westby is a name that's familiar. Uh, there's a Sam Westby, point guard, quarterback for Hill Murray a few years back. I wonder if there's any relation there, as it looks like to be a pretty athletic family. Well, we're going to have a timeout quick by Tartan, and with that timeout, I'm going to let you know about some volunteer. Folks, if you're looking to get in the action for TV19 Sports or, everything, or anything on TV19, just hit up Arlen Becker. You can see his uh, information on the screen, his phone number and email. But whether you're looking to do some camera work, maybe even try some broadcasting, contact Arlen at the numbers on the screen and we can get you hooked up there. Yeah, come be part of our team. 
Always looking for more volunteers. There we are. Man, look at that. Nice job. Get a couple of our camera operators, including uh, the guys with the headsets on as well. As we say every time, wonderful job done by our crew. And another great presentation of high school sports here on TV19. Yeah, really a lot of fun people to work with here at TV19. You can even have your hand in on Sports Path as well, see what's going on. It's a really fun time. Whether you're a parent or a high school student, as you said, Sam, getting your feet wet if you want to do a little broadcasting career or maybe even do a little camera work. Yeah, we we'll need volunteers both in studio and out at our shoots here on the campuses of our Fab Five schools. Well, after the timeout, Hill Murray gets the point, and they'll take an eight to four lead with that one. Yeah, let's see if Tartan get it, get it here, get a get a point on the board right here because Hill Murray can put this one away, cannot let them score any more points, build on this lead. Xander with kind of a uh, high arcing, soft serve, throwing Tartan off balance. They're able to regroup and keep it alive. Westby now just taps it over. Lyle with the dig. St. Cyr with the back set to Bradshaw. And that one's tipped at the net. Back set over the net by Hill Murray. Hill Murray now with the chance to set things up. Westby with the outside hit. Dug by Lyle. St. Cyr decides to set it over and set up to a teammate. And that's a big decision as it gets starting to point. Making it eight to five, and the bench does the wave after that one. Yeah, that's twice now St. Sears has done that in this set, and it's worked. And But Hill Murray continues to have some great setups there um, for Claire Westby, and it, it just didn't work that time. Peterson with the dig off the Tartan serve. Westby. Nice job as Lyle has cre crept in a little too close. Supposed to protect that back line. I think if she would have let that one go, it would have fallen in anyway. Fortunately, that divider once again having an impact on the game. It's got to be hard when you're tartan. It's your own home, home court and it's uh, going negative against you. Number eight, Lena Gartner. A uh, player that's actually had a pretty nice night here so far. Unforced errors. That one goes in to the net on the serve. Yeah, we haven't talked about her much, but she's had some great sets, some great defense. Very unheralded player today. Yeah, she's really been a presence kind of in the middle blocking things, blocking, uh, you know, attempted kills by Tartan. Again, another Hill Murray Pioneer is just kind of going about her business, albeit maybe quietly, but uh, definitely not unnoticed by uh, the, the two guys in the broadcast booth. Definitely a well-coached team. Yeah, we were talking to her the last time out, and she's had a heck of a game. Westby with the serve for Hill Murray. Trying to get the Pioneers the win. That one hit just a little too far and unable to be kept in play by Heinrichs, Lauren Heinrichs, the sophomore hitter. Well, just as we were kind of praising Gardner, she's had a couple miscues. But there's kind of one of her specialties, great back set. But Tartan able to deal with it. And they'll set things up. Now it's Hill Murray's turn. It always tends to happen, Sam. Once we start talking about somebody, they make a little error. They bounce back, though. Yeah, it looks like that one is going to be called out. Nice idea. They just try to get it in the back end of the defense. Unfortunately, it was just a little too hard right there. Heinrichs to serve. The barrel in white, the off-color jersey for Hill Murray. Kind of a defensive specialist on the court. Does her job to get to that one. Bump it up to Westby. And Westby gets the kill. Sam, I tell you what, every play that they set up is for Claire Westby, and she takes full advantage of it, whether she's in the back or the front of the court. She makes it happen. You can definitely see that she's one of the more experienced volleyball players on this Hill Murray squad. Just has a great accuracy uh, with her hits. What a job to keep it alive. Kept alive again. But unfortunately, because they had to ch uh, chase the ball down out of position, the Tartan able to take advantage. But Gardner does a great job. Didn't think she was, there was any chance she, should get, she could get that one back over the net. And lo and behold, she does it. Yes, yeah, Sam, we were talking about her, and we said she would bounce back. She bounced back right there with a very impressive play. Unfortunately, Hilmer could not get the point. Tartan needs to make something happen. They need to go on a run right here, Sam. They need to get back this lead, or at least take the lead for the first time in this set. They're going to have to do it little by little, get a little bit of help there as Heinrichs uh, hits it, miss hits it, I should say, off the serve from Maria Sorensen. Yeah. 
Westby now, Sorensen able to dig. That one up to LeMay, dug out. It hits the floor, and the point will go to Hill Murray. They'll get the serve right back. Yeah, Kasana Klaas has been doing great up front for Hill Murray. That's another player we haven't talked about much because I feel like all we are talking about is Westby, but she's been very impressive, and you know, they take her out when she's not up front. This team's very well coached. Steve with the serve, dug by Sorensen. Gartner with the serve, sets up Peterson on the outside. Gardner again, this time dug out by Tartan. Sorensen. Gardner to Westby. Dug out, hits the ceiling. Tartan able to deal with that. Abby Peterson outside. Sorensen can't get to that one. And Hill Murray will make it a 14 9 game. Yeah, Peterson, she's not the strongest hitter on the court, but she's had some great hits tonight, putting it where the defense is not. Very impressive. Good volley from both teams there. Steve gets it in. Doug from Beaner. Punched over by Lyle. Gardner setting up Abby Peterson for her left-handed hit. But Beaner digs it out. Steve to Gartner once again. That one hit, but dug by Bradshaw. Peterson dug out by Sorensen. Bradshaw, LeMay's gonna have to push it over. Gets it over, but Hill Murray able to reset things. Bradshaw outside again. This one to Alexandra Lyle, takes the tip, goes out of bounds, and the point will go to the Tartan Titans. That's another impressive volley right there. Yes, I was just about to say that. A great back and forth here, the last two volleys from both teams. And you can tell these teams both want to win. As we said, Tartan needs to do something here on offense because it's not working. But you got to imagine Peterson for Hill Murray. If she was a little stronger, I think Hill Murray could have had two points right there. Her serves were just a little too soft, and it gives Tartan's team the ability to react and score some points. You got to wonder, Peterson got a bit of a bandage up left wrist and a couple fingers, and she does hit with that left hand. Uh, you got to wonder if that's kind of a uh, affecting things at all. Yeah, it looks like she's got that little metal cast there on her pinky and her uh, ring finger, ring finger on her left hand. So yeah, you're probably right, Sam. And I don't know exactly what happened, but I would wager a guess given my basketball experience, she might have taken a ball right off the finger and maybe broke a finger. Yeah, I was thinking that earlier in the broadcast, and that probably had something to do with it. Nobody, <laughs> it's never a fun time. Oh, no, I've, uh, I've experienced it a few times on the basketball court. And I did it on the football field. And that's why we love it up here in the broadcast booth, right, John? Exactly, Sam. All I'm going to do is strain my vocal cords, maybe. Westby, once, a, once again, just great uh, intelligence, great uh, you know wherewithal to kind of tip it over there, seeing that they're backing off of her and get the point for Hill Murray. Absolutely impressive player, Sam. She's... If she was in the Fab Five, she would probably be our player of the week. Tartan's going to get the point there. Lyle's going to head back to the service space. Yeah, you're right. It just kind of goes to show you with the high school athletics. I mean, being athletic is one thing, but also having that IQ really, if you're an intelligent player, you can really set yourself apart and kind of make up for maybe some of the lack of uh, physical size, physical ability. At this level, if you have some intelligence over your opponents, it goes a long, long way. You even see that in the pro game, Sam. Some of the guys are not the best, they're not the strongest, but they have the fundamentals. You look at players like uh, Danny Woodhead for the Chargers, Julian Edelman for the Patriots. You just gotta do the right things and work hard. Yeah, I was thinking of a guy like Marcus Sherrills for you Vikings fans, guy who, by all accounts, shouldn't even be on a roster. Guy who started out as a walk-on going to Minnesota, undrafted free agent on the Vikings, and he's been on the team for six, seven years. Uh, just, you know, doing the right things, playing smart, and uh, I think uh, a lot of athletes look up to players like that. But well, we're gonna have a timeout as Hill Murray uh, increases the lead to 19 to 12. Here's set number four. And with that timeout, we're gonna take a timeout. 
Tell yeah, you about folks. a little bit more programming here on our family of networks. Yeah, we have some great programming here, but we wanted to remind you to check out the many other shows in our sister station, GTN 16. North St. Paul Notes is a monthly program that showcases North St. Paul city staff, business leaders, and local residents. Tune in to Local Channel 16 every month to find out what's happening in the city of North St. Paul. As we know, they have a great soccer team going on there with a very impressive win over Eastridge. Check it out. Yeah, when's that? They got that section final game coming up against Stillwater. Is that tonight? It is. It that is. is going on right now, concurrent with this game right here. We'll have highlights of this one on your next episode of Sports Bath. Of course, next Wednesday, live at 7 p.m. I believe that's the... Not sure what date that is, John. I'm kind of losing track of the date. It's the 26th. I was going to say the 28th, and I knew that sounded wrong. So we'll have highlights, highlights of this one, as well as all that info on what went down in that North St. Paul section final against Stillwater on that episode live, 7 p.m. on the 26th. Yeah, we could have a little spooky treat for all of our viewers. Me and Sam might be dressed up as uh, something. I'm not sure we know yet. We might do a little tandem thing. Should be a good time. Yeah, hopefully uh, we'll have something more than just our performances that will be scary for that episode, right? Yeah, hopefully we don't scare uh, the North St. Paul <laughs> soccer players we have coming on. Yeah, we're going to do an interview with a couple of those players regardless of what goes down tonight. Uh, for North St. Paul. A couple guys have been making a lot of news for that North St. Paul program, really putting them on the map. I can tell you what, if they're not scared of East Ridge soccer, they won't be scared of whatever costumes we throw at them, Sam. You got that right. We wish them, wish them the best of luck, as well as all of our Fab Five schools as they are in the postseason or approach the postseason. It's the regular season for volleyball winding down, and uh, with that Hill Murray point, this game might be winding down as they'll open up big lead at 21-13. Here's set number four. They've got a two set to one lead. And it looks like number eight, Alina Gardner, going to go back and serve. Yeah, I tell you what, Sam, after that first set loss there for Hill Murray, they've looked like a totally different team. They focused their offense around Claire Westby, and she's took over the game. But they've had a lot of players who do just everything right, and it shows. And that's why they're up 22 to 13, and that's why they're a two seed in the section playoffs. Yeah, maybe overlooking Tartan a little bit with their low section seeding, although a bigger school. Both the teams pretty close in the Metro East Conference, but Hill Murray definitely showing uh, they're the better team so far here tonight. They have a 23 to 13 lead, two points away from winning this one. Yeah, Tartan's going to need something short of a miracle here, Sam, to come back in this one. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to get a point here and try and do it little by little. But Gardner, as we said, a bit of an underrated player here tonight. Been doing her job quietly and gets the serve in. But Bradshaw, Jesse Bradshaw, number four from Tartan, wants to keep this thing going. Nice kill. Make it 23-14. Yeah, she's kind of disappeared. She had a very impressive first set. That whole kind of team, her and Lyle especially, they were very dominant that first set. But we haven't really talked about them much in the last couple. So. Yeah, I wonder if Hill Murray made it a point to kind of key in on those two players, really shut them down. And it's one of the reasons they've had success here in the next two. Yeah, Tartan looked very dominant at the end of that first set. It's very surprising to see them just kind of fall flat here in the last couple sets. Well, that was a big block. Number 13, Haley Kissner gets up there. And Tartan out only down eight. They're trying to make a little bit of a run with Bradshaw serving. Bradshaw gets it in. Set over the net. And number 13, Haley Kissner there to spike it down and make it a seven-point game. Yeah, Kissner stepping up to the plate, trying to get this team to rally back here. Hill Murray's got to, they got to stop it. Bradshaw gets the serve in again. Peterson with the dig, set out wide to Westby, too close to the net, and Tartan again will get a point. So yeah. Hill Murray kind of hurting themselves right now. Yeah, Klaus was a little too far away from uh, Westby right there, and unfortunately, she hit it right into the net. So Bradshaw to serve, trying to get four consecutive points for Tartan, get him back into this one. Good job setting up Westby by Hill Murray, but blocked at the net. Even better defense from Tartan. They do it again. 
And another unforced error for the Pioneers have got Tartan right back into this thing, 23-18. Yeah, this Tartan team is looking amped up. These girls are smiling when they're shutting down Westby. Let's see if they can make a run. I said it was a miracle. Let's see if it could happen. That's one thing you got to appreciate about these athletes. Even in the middle of this battle, they are, they have smiles on their face, having a good time. Westby with the hit. Lyle keeps it alive. Tartan keeps it alive off the rafters, but Kistner unable to get it over the net as it hits that top stripe of the net and bounces back and are inches away from getting another point. Yeah, Beaner just kicking that ball at the end like, oh man, we really needed that point right there and that they did. As this is game point, but it sails too long for Westby and Tartan is gonna stay alive and have a chance. They need a six point run right, run right here, Sam. As you know, you talked about earlier, you gotta win by two here in the game of volleyball. Let's see if they can do it. Slow arcing serve by Beaner. Peterson set up, cross court hit, but Sorensen there for the dig. Now Lyle set up, Sorensen will dig it out again. And Lyle's just gonna have to bump it over. Gardner with the back set. And great job by Tartan defense, keeping that one alive, thought for sure that was gonna fall in. Gardner again, that one hit, and long no tip on it. And that is gonna be Tartan ball, and it's a 24-20. Yeah, they had the chance to set up Westby there. I'm not sure why Hill Murray didn't. They kind of just went away from her on that play. Serving again. Peterson sets Westby from the back line. And they're really trying to feed Westby, maybe to a fault. As Gardner sets, Heinrichs comes in from the back. That one tipped, and I think that will do it as, yes, the referees say it is tipped. That will make it 25 to 20 here in set number four. And that will be the third and deciding set victory for Hill Murray. We'll take a look at the scoreboard. Tartan wins the first one 25-19. Hill Murray wins the rest of the sets 25-19, 25-18, and set number four, as you just saw, 25-20. to Well, for everyone here at TV19 Sports, it's been John Miller and Sam Erickson bringing you Metro East Volleyball. I want to thank you for watching. This is TV19 Sports.